Hey, and welcome to Destroy All Movies. This is your old pal Jim coming at you. Solo. That's right. By myself. So I thought we might intersperse some episodes. I don't want to say failed, but it did fail. Experiment of uh, creating another show called Destroy All Television, where we were talking about television. So we did a few episodes of that, and I thought I would start with a re-release of it. Episodes 1 and 2 of the second season of the show Knight Rider. I'll give you a little synopsis. In Goliath, episodes 1 and 2, Michael Knight meets his evil doppelganger, Garth Knight. Pretty damn exciting. Well, let's get on to the show. You'll recognize the voices, I believe. See you on the flip-flop. Of Destroy All Television, where we're going to take classic and sometimes not so classic television <laughs> shows. Right. And uh, give them the Destroy All Movies treatment, only uh, television-wise. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so what's what's on our first, uh, our first, first show? Oh, it's a beauty. It is a beauty. It's uh, season two, episode one and two of Night Rider. Night Rider. Goliath. Goliath. Let me tell you, man. October this 2nd, 1983. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I am buttoning my shirt a little when I watch this. <laughs> I, I had to drop a button or two when I was watching this to get in the mood. Well, you noticed uh, when he was in uh, the airport or something? I forget which uh, scene he was in. He went to a bus station. Yeah, yeah the bus, bus station. station. That dude, the he dude had one walk, button. The dude walking behind him. Yeah. <laughs> only had his shirt wide open. I know. That's what I mean. <laughs> like, when I watched <laughs> this, I was like, I, my, my, I have too many buttons going. I had to loosen up. <laughs> Show a little chest there. <laughs> yes, this has all of the Michael Knight you want and... Some a lot of don't. it you don't. Michael <laughs> 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 oh, well, Knight, you really don't want. And Garth. Knight. Yeah. Garth Knight. <laughs> yes. Garth. <laughs> Michael Knight's evil would be brother. Yeah. Thank Ooh, you. 1983 <laughs> makes a lot of sense now. Oof. I think I watched it live. So wow. this opens up in the desert. There's some blonde haired dude with a camera wearing very tight pants and shirt. Right. All uh, right. <laughs> Running through the desert. No, he was riding. He were, first it was riding a dirt bike. Oh, that's right. He was on a dirt bike mm-hmm. first, and, and then he came down the hill. Uh, you know, he was running down the hill. Why? Which I don't understand. Why did he didn't just turn off the dirt bike and coast down the hill? I don't know why. Like he, he didn't was, have. He wasn't trying to hide. He was. Just, yeah, he was terrible at hiding. He was just running <laughs> right out in the open. Yeah, it was like watching the beginning of Crocodile Dundee two. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Why? I, okay, you're gonna have to explain that one because I do not well, remember the beginning, the beginning of, Croc- of the Crocodile. Uh, Crocodile Dundee Two is when uh, Sue's ex-husband uh, uh, with the photographer was taking pictures of Rico. Oh yeah, yeah. he was kind of right. running down the thing, and you know, same shit. Right. So yeah. this dude runs, and there's a big warehouse, and he's taking pictures, and some soldiers outside, and he goes inside, sneaks inside the warehouse very easily. Yeah, and I was going to say they didn't have a lock anywhere <laughs> yeah. on the. I mean, you're in the middle of this. Why do you need a lock? <laughs> so he it's sneaks right. in there, and he's behind all of these uh, crates and stuff, and he's taking pictures, and he's soldiers are going by, and there's this big thing there, and you're only seeing little pieces of it, right. and then uh, he gets uh, found out by Garth Knight. But the yeah. thing is, dude, turn your motor drive off on your camera, right? Because <laughs> it's right. A, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised flashes weren't going off yeah. like crazy. <laughs> and he was in like plain sight too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he was terrible at hiding. Really bad. Yeah, he's not 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 great at hiding. He was terrible at getting caught too, because all he did was stand there and stare. Yeah. <laughs> and then move Garth, around, Garth. How, then, how accurate could Garth be with that king gun? I was just gonna say he, <laughs> using using Penguin's old gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He borrowed it off the penguin. He borrowed it off the penguin. 
So that's when we're introduced to Garth Knight, who uh, has a a, a thin mustache or mustachio. Right. No, it's right. a full mustache. Yeah, but, it's a, f- a and, mustache and a soul patch and, a soul, and an earring. Oh, that's right, diamond he had earring. An earring too. Don't, 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 and the longer he had a little longer. Long, that's right, longer sideburns. That's how you can oh. tell them apart really easily. And the and the cane. Yeah, but they both had the hair helmet. But you notice he never put that cane on the ground. Like he never walked with it as a no. cane. He always no. held it like yeah. toward the midsection of the cane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe he was, uh, you know, in his younger years, he was studying, you know, Broadway stuff. <laughs> he needed maybe, to dance it out. Or maybe the gun will accidentally go off if he, yeah, that he's is, like that smacking it on the ground. The penguin's like, dude, don't put it on the ground. It'll, it'll go off. He just finished physical therapy. He doesn't need the cane anymore. Yeah. But he got attached to it, and it's it's for the look. Yeah, you know? it definitely is. You gotta you gotta unbutton the top four buttons. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Damn near saw his belly button for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so next we see Kit driving along the road with Michael yeah. in the car, and he gets a call from uh, Devin on the video screen. Dude, you know what? Devin had some fucking deep blue eyes, boy. <laughs> Devin, like when I saw this, I was just Ed, like Ed, Edward Mulher. Yeah, he was played. Uh, yeah, he was uh, the Q of, uh, of of the night organization, but not Q. He was in an old television sitcom called The Ghost and Mrs. Muir. Heard about it? Never he, seen. He was the ghost of a captain who. Was uh, sounds haunted. about right, huh? Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, and he he stayed up in the uh, yeah the, the basically the the attic or the penthouse of the the house, uh-huh. and he would interact. He had sort of a lovey dovey thing going on with the uh, woman who bought the house, Mrs. Muir. Oh, okay. Wow. So he was the titular ghost. Yeah, that's yeah. True. So he always looked like dapper in his captain's outfit and shit. Like, like see, turtle he still and he stuff. he still does. He was just he's always dressed to the nines. He can pull off dapper. Yeah. And why does he have a phone in a box? <laughs> I don't know. I know. Ne- I don't why, understand why does that. Michael Knight have to hit three buttons to answer a phone call? I don't know. Why didn't they put it on the <laughs> steering wheel? They have all these fucking super I know. pressure he has sensors. To re- he has to reach up and he hits three buttons. Yeah. Beep, like, boop, boop, boop. Beep. Yeah. <laughs> so did you get a you ever get a look at Kit's like dashboard? Dash? Yeah. Yeah. Did you take some stills? I'm sure I you didn't took take like, some stills of it to talk about what's on the dashboard. Yeah, because some of it just didn't make sense. Like I paused it, I'm like, all right. System pressure? I think that one's a- no no, like like PSI was one of them. That means the wheels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wheels. I, I get that, but like uh and then one of them was like um Automation, uh, not auto. Uh, it was some like something generic. I'm just like, really? Like you couldn't have thought, like you couldn't think of anything else. Yeah, like bat phone. Yeah, <laughs> even the tape player said tape. Oh my god! In huge. <laughs> oh my! God. Not that it not not just tape, but it said tape like huge. Yeah, like the like the old Batman show yeah. would, would label things. Yeah. Tape. Give, tape. Give him a break. It's, it's 1983. Still, dude. And you're telling tape. me Michael Knight when he... I'm jumping ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Michael's driving in the desert. And I'm asking so, myself, at that point, is Michael driving that car? Because he's if he's driving the car and he's staring at that video screen, right. that's no, dangerous driving. driving. No, Kit's, Kit's always Kit, driving. No, Kit's, Kit's not driving. always driving. He yeah, but when he's... The, he always is driving that car. Well, he's, you know, he's, he can multitask. Yeah. You're in the middle of a fucking desert. Dude. Who, who are you going to hit? Who's the only one out I'm there? I'm just saying, Michael's a dangerous driver. Thank God Kit can take control. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, if you noticed, I am wearing my Night Industries oh, t-shirt. Night indi- wow. Oh, my no, God. I, I, I did not. <laughs> And, uh, Did you that, order that special for the show? Not for this show. I had it already. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. No, I did not uh, notice. No, I did not notice. <laughs> and you notice how Michael is like super casual answering that phone? Like, yo, Devin. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, Barney, go ahead. It's like, and then he tells him to do the job and he's up. Like, oh, yeah, catch you later. Does Michael Knight take his job seriously? No. He doesn't <laughs> seem to. Nor should he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So, so Bonnie, just so you know, like when I was yeah. watching this, Bonnie's hair should have her own credits. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's weird. They like had a, a different uh, mechanic. Right. Or technician, whatever her position was uh-huh. in the first season. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And I think they, I think this season's the only one that Bonnie, you know, the character Bonnie was in. I thought they, they I think they brought back the uh, actress uh, who was in the first season came back in the. Oh, okay. Because she didn't have enough hair. <laughs> yeah, she was, when I, she didn't when, have the, the full do when when or, I saw or the disco when, boots she when it was, was wearing. like Sarah Holt or whatever her name is playing Bonnie, and it was like Kira Knightley playing Bonnie's hair. <laughs> 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 like her hair needed its own credit. It was huge. That's nineteen eighty three, man. Still, it was its own character. You grew up in Jersey. You should recognize that hair. I know, but dude, that was a lot of hair. Yeah. So So they tell Michael, like Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott should have two credits: Sam Elliott and And Sam Elliott's mustache. (laughs) (laughs) So Devin says you got to go talk to this uh, woman who is a black tech dealer or something in Vegas because her brother's missing, and for some reason that is. Important to the foundation for law and government, just one yeah. d- one dude missing. Yeah. Well, you know, they needed a they needed a storyline. So I have a question. Yeah. Was well, was a lot of it out in Vegas? A lot of this show re- like recorded out there. I'm sure some of, of it episodes? was. Huh? Just these two episodes, or the whole show? No, no, like the whole show. Where was it? Wasn't it? Based oh, it wasn't in, in Vegas. Places? Oh, because no. they they were in Vegas a lot. Well, no, this show mostly took place in Southern California uh, <laughs> for well, the most part. It was mostly filmed where I grew up, in Santa Clarita. There you oh. go. So were the Dukes of Hazard. Oh, ah, yeah. So, um, so uh, Bonnie starts razzing Devin, right. saying, well, what about your date, Devin? Yeah. And he goes, uh, and he's sly, and he goes, I wouldn't call it a date. It's with uh, Wil- Wilton Knight's uh, widow. <laughs> yeah. And she doesn't do anything without an ulterior motive. So I figure he's prepared. Right. He's prepared for anything because he knows she's got she's something a, up her sleeve. Right, that she's a sly fox. Or upper moo whatever the fuck. Yeah. That, that stupid dress she was wearing. <laughs> like that now that is a that is a late 60s early 70s star, you know, uh, yeah. movie star dress. Yeah. That was <laughs> She was pretty good. I I I that guarantee was, uh, that Barbara dress Rush dancing. who played. She wasn't uh, bad. She was actually yeah. a pretty good actor. Yeah, so was the guy that played Garth Knight. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he was. <laughs> so Devin goes to dinner with the uh, the widow, and she goes, "Oh, oh my!" He goes, "Oh, so what do you got up to your sleeve there, honey?" And he goes, "Oh, it's so stuffy in here. Will you open a window?" And he took, he get, he went to that window, and he must have studied it. He was gone for an hour because he took a long time to open that window, long enough for her to slowly get out the poison vial and pour it into <laughs> into <Right>? his wine. <laughs> so later, you see Devin just standing there staring, and she goes, "Devin," and then he keels over. Yeah, and then she says, "Oh, now the time for questioning." And meanwhile, Michael Knight goes to Vegas. And sits down at the... Can we uh, mention the the Vegas music? A shit cover of the Rolling Stones? (laughs) Yes. Give me shelter. It was was probably uh, done by Mark Mark Post. You you think that uh, uh, Scorsese went back and and watched this to get a little 
uh, inspiration <laughs> for Casino. <laughs> <laughs> he puts that movie. He puts that song, that song in, in the movie. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did. He what puts that it? song in like three or four movies. Yeah, I know. They they show like a slot machine paying off very slowly. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it didn't seem like a lot of coins were coming no, out that no. slot machine. But that cover was just painful. Yeah, and so I don't know. I don't know how it says Vegas. Right. <laughs> so was this filmed at like Bob's Casino? Yeah, so <laughs> so he sits down at the table she's dealing at, and the dude, there's another dude there. Says, oh, she's a killer. Yep. You're gonna lose your money. She's a killer. I'll take my chance. So so he sits down and he says, "Oh, Devin sent me," and she gets all freaked out. Yeah, not here. Not not <laughs> exactly not here. Yeah. Not why and I'm is going, there someone else? No one's here. And then he goes, "Oh yeah, okay." I'll see you later tonight and get just gets up and leaves. He doesn't even play a hand. Michael Knight is terrible. That is, that is more uh, conspicuous than anything. I know. (laughs) Let me sit in a place that's full of cameras. Right. (laughs) Well, I don't, it wasn't full of cameras then. No, they were full of cameras then. Oh, sure. Really? Oh yeah. When when did they start doing cameras in uh, Vegas? Almost like shortly after they built the place. Oh wow! Watch Casino again. Yeah. So, in a place where all cameras. So he he basically, she's trying to keep things confidential, and he just uh oh, out in the open. Then later they're driving around and Kit, and and Michael Knight is a fucking asshole <laughs> throughout this thing to her, right? <laughs> Yo, shouldn't she have recognized him as Garth without the? She did. She did. did she. She said oh, that's Garth. Right. She goes, the you look- first thing she said to him. Oh, that's right, Garth. He's like, what? Just because of the hair helmet? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the exact same hair. Wasn't yeah. it convenient that Garth had the exact same hairdo and length? So well, it was a and man. and his bu- his build and height was exactly the same as well. Dude, I'm telling you, he had longer sideburns <laughs> and an earring. Oh, I forgot. As Michael Knight's walking out of the casino, right? He sees Garth oh, and right. goes like, "What the what? What in the what?" <laughs> so he goes, "I saw," and he. I, I love the way they talk. And it's like, "I saw a guy that looks just like me." <laughs> <laughs> you know, who he talks like. Uh, he talks like uh, uh, what's his name from uh, F is for Family. Uh, I mean, it's Bill Burr. No, no, no. The uh, uh, Sam Rockwell voiced him. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. The 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 neighbor who was yeah. the DJ. <laughs> so what was his I name? Used, Rick or something like that? Yeah. I used uh, to think it was McConaughey, but it is Sam Rockwell. No, it's Sam Rockwell. Yeah. When can I ask about the genealogy here? Go ahead. About yeah. So so like Garth is the direct son of of the dude Wilton well, Knight. Wilton well, Knight who died. Michael is. Michael was a police officer who was shot in the face and they gave yeah. him plastic surgery. What? And then he was he was pronounced dead. Michael Long was pronounced dead. Right. And then they gave him the new identity of Michael Knight. And wasn't it wasn't it uh something else long? Like No, it like was it Michael wasn't? Long. It was Michael. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh, they, he's like Robocop. Yeah, kind of, except he has no uh, special powers other than uh, his uh, incredible uh, charm. (laughs) He's being an idiot. Dashing good looks. Dashing good looks. Yeah, and he's able to wear tight pants and (laughs) low-cut shirts. So he goes, how come this dude looks like me? And they said, you know, oh, that's Garth Knight, that's Wilton's son. And he goes, what I talked about previously on the other show was how screwed up that is that that dude had given the had given michael long the plastic surgery to look like his son yeah, yeah. That's weird. That's and so michael weird. calls that out he said blah 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 you know yeah, don't you think that's a little weird and <sighs> and damn it he, he goes so i he made me uh look like his uh his son and Devin's excuse was well we never thought he'd be out of get out of jail Three it's, like, 
Well, yeah, but yeah. we didn't think, you know. He would, yeah, he would get he, out of jail. This wouldn't have never come up. Yeah. And here's the thing. Michael buys it and doesn't bring it up again. Well, when, when, he you, was when pi- you. He was pissed for like no. three seconds. Yeah. And then, then the when show you ha- went when on. You, when you have an explanation, that's sound. You move right <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, you go, okay. You go, ow. Well, well then that, that makes all Now that you more. explain it properly. <laughs> Where was he in jail? Africa. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, who would not who, even, not even who would expect contract. to get out of an African jail? Yeah. <laughs> no one gets out of African jails. That's explained. Yeah. So, <laughs> three life Devin's like, Michael, don't concern Africa. yourself with such things. So, Devin explains that the molecular bonding on Kit's uh, shell, you know. He said there that's a secret formula and it was split up between three people, but you could not recreate the formula unless any you could recreate recreate it with two people, but not with one. Right. And I'm saying that makes no sense whatsoever. Yep. If you Very break something in three pieces, how are two people gonna do it? Right. Why um didn't his wife uh already have that formula? Already have that <laughs> <laughs> since she owns the company? Yeah, I was just going to say, like, shouldn't she, like, I'm, I'm sure there's just, pa- there's paper files still at that time, so yeah. she could have just, you know, thumbed through some shit and found it. Exactly, because he's saying, he said to Bonnie how worried he was because she is the one who funds the foundation. Right. I'm sure, I'm sure on the file, you know, the heading would have still been, you know, kit molecular structure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Carr had that. Yeah. Carr had the same molecular molecular bonding. Right. So they were like, hmm. So, yeah, it made no sense. But, you know, hey. So he a, says. It wasn't about making sense, Jim. I was, it was about tight pants yeah. and low cut shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so Devin says, I was one of the people with the, for, with the piece of the formula. And I was drugged. And she got it out of me, basically. Right. But he yeah. didn't die, so he says he's going to hop on a plane, and he says, I got to get to where that other dude is. Wasn't he in Sweden? Yeah. Sweden, Sweden Jerry. Jerry. Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> so he was in and Sweden. So they go there, and Bonnie and, and Devin find the other dude dead on the floor. Dude, my oh, favorite was. That was in Sweden? Yeah. My where, favorite was, was. Hold on. Yeah. My favorite was where, where when Devin was just like. Call a hospital, but uh, that you know that specializes in poison. Yeah, oh no, exotic was, poison. Ex- exotic poison. Yeah, uh, call a hospital that specializes in exotic poison. Oh, oh, the, the exotic poison hospital. Yeah. I, I work at a fucking hotel. I am the concierge. I'm the concierge. <laughs> I can I can tell you where to go get good steak, but I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, poison. that was Bra- that was Brazil for sure. Oh, it, it could Brazil? have been Brazil. Yeah, yeah, it could have been Brazil. Yeah, they yeah. showed the big Jesus. Oh, that's right. That's right. It was Rio. Okay, it was. So it was Rio. So, um, yeah. So he's like, yeah, cool. that specializes in poison, exotic poison. So he's like, you know, I can, I can get you a steak. You know. It's <laughs> <laughs> so, Bonnie says that the guy's been dead for about over oh, for about an hour. How the heck would she know that? No, didn't she say like 24 hours? Yeah, I thought it was. Or 24 yeah, was like a, hours. Yeah. Was like, How would she know that? Yeah, because he has a raging heart on. Yeah. But- <laughs> <laughs> How Rigor mortis is set in. <laughs> did, did, she take, oh, did she take the body temperature or something? Yeah. She was just standing there. She didn't have any equipment in her hand. Her hair did it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bonnie's hair figured it out. <laughs> uh Bonnie's hair has, has like kit in it. She talks to it <laughs> and it talks back. So Michael, what do you think she's fixing that fucking oh, car? So when he was talking to the dealer, right? right he, uh, yeah. as an example of his assholeness mm-hmm. is like when he's talking to her and he, he thinks like casually, well, I'll look into it and blah, blah, blah. And he takes her home and then she doesn't say anything. And he just stares at her and goes, right. Uh, the key. Yeah. 
hello? Like, hello? Fuck, yeah, hello, the key. Like, <laughs> let me tell you, man. Like, you were, you have, he was a freaking jerk. You don't understand. The David jerk Hasselhoff, star called and said they're David, full of him. David Hasselhoff oh, has oh, what boy. we call in the business comedic timing. <laughs> <laughs> Because he thought he was sly. Uh, the oh, key. He, wow, man, I brought it home. <laughs> he definitely thought a lot of himself. Instead yeah, of like, oh, can I have that key for the lot, uh, that key that your brother had? No. Yeah, it's like, remember the key. It's like, duh, you could give me the yeah. key. And he had like, uh, when, he went, when he finally went to the bus station with the key. Yeah. Yeah, Kit. Complained about having to look up how wh- where that key might fit. I yeah, mean, anyone can look at it and say, "Okay, it's a locker key." Where are you going to go? Bus stations, yeah. airports, and right. So it's funny because I wish he went had to a bowling alley. Kit had oh, dude, that would have been awesome. <laughs> it was just in a fucking bowling alley. Because <laughs> Kit uh, gave him those two options. It was either the bus station or the bowling alley. I would have went to the bowling alley. It would have been so league good. night, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude, it would have been awesome. So uh, he goes to the, uh, but 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 Kit's trying to find it on the map. Yeah. And the map's moving around. Like, he can he can talk to Devin and, uh, and Bonnie and Bonnie's hair, and it goes digital. Right. But when they look at the map, it's a paper map. It's a paper map moving around. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. Yeah. Well, they didn't like, have navigation uh, system yeah, but like like, uh, like we do today. But you, you, you figure. You, but my point is, like, you figure it can go digital, then come back, and then go digital and come back like that. That's but type here's of thing. the thing: that map scan that Kit did, right, was no logical pattern. No, like, it was it just was, moving around. Yeah, it wasn't like over, down, over, down, over, down. Yeah. It, it was, <laughs> it was, was like, using it like it was going like, diagonally, going yeah. left, going right. I'm surprised they didn't use a fucking view master. <laughs> you know it was one camera set and yeah. someone someone on a big table was just moving the map around. Yeah, it's just yeah. some fucking union guy moving the, <laughs> yeah. the map around. Just end up here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, meanwhile, oh, Garth, dude, I wish they would have went to the bowling alley. That's so cool. Meanwhile, there's better. montages of Garth uh, working on, you know, not working on Goliath, glaring at the yes. people who were working on Goliath. He glared which, a lot in this. Uh, yeah, which was a little creepy. <laughs> and, 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 and look, and montages Goli- of them looking at it, and then. They bring in these uh, African dudes, uh, African military dudes that supposedly sprung him from the Af- African prison in exchange for him doing a mission for them. And right. he demonstrates Goliath's hardened molecular bonded shell by giving him this <laughs> pipe and letting that him was hit perfectly the perfectly f- cut. I know. Let him hit the thing. <laughs> and he taps the front and it shears perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, it could break pipes. Yeah, the guy was like excited yes, about. It, the, yes, yes, it can. It can break pipes. <laughs> what else could it do? Uh, it could break pipes. It could break pipes. That's all we've tested so far. That's, we we still cut the pipe a little. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, the you know, I have a I have a metal truck at home, uh, and, and I broke a pipe over it, and 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 it didn't do anything either. <laughs> So what's could they could they have a, a more you know impractical fucking vehicle for this for this drive? Yeah, the, like, yeah, with like, the trailer. Yeah, so dumb. It's like Optimus Prime. Yeah, I was. My favorite was watching the uh, watching the military guys load the fucking missiles. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, fucking stripes. Well, stripes well, did a better. Right. Ten years before well, that. What was that thing? They they put the missile launcher. They just sat it on yeah. top and then started putting missiles in it. Are you going to secure that? No, four bolts, Jim. <laughs> but they just, didn't put any bolts. No, I understand <laughs> that. They'll just they're just putting. They didn't. And you notice they didn't put a bunch of them in. They only put like one or two. Yes. Just to make sure. Like, all right, it fits. It fits. And with, with the flashlight too. Yeah. So, so Garth uh, is walking with his mother. 
saying how he is going to wind up killing Michael Knight because Michael is a walking insult to him. And but this is like tour de force evil acting out of David Hasselhoff. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. he was. Uh, there were I, he was, I was chewing the, the scenery. The the only thing that was missing was the fucking Doctor Evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> the African guy took care of that. Well, the, yeah, that is true. So, uh, Kit and Goli- uh, you know, Kit goes to scan. Uh, Red Bluff. Right. And he scans and sees two big doors in the side of the mountain, but his uh, x-ray mode can't uh, penetrate it. Can't go through lead. Yeah, it can't go through su- lead. Just like Superman. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and, and and that's what Bonnie tells him when he goes like, oh, could you soup up his x-ray mode to see through? <laughs> you know, how long would it take to soup up his x-ray mode? He's like, no. And she goes, Never. <laughs> he can't see through lead. He can't see through lead. That's not going to work. But she does improve his infrared oh, mode. Yeah, that's right. Which, when used, showed like a video. So it sees perfectly. <laughs> so not. it wasn't like an infrared image. <laughs> you, notice, you notice when Kit's driving his um, the, the TVs in the car that are showing where he's going. Yeah, are are like very fuzzy right like there's not great reception and you notice it's always accelerating from 60 to 76 miles an hour every time they cut to the dashboard you see the you see the uh, speedometer counting up but it's the same shot over and over again it's called it's called stock footage jim they're only getting one shot at it (laughs) you're not you're not supposed to pay attention so so michael sees the missiles in there and he uh he says oh let's let's go in and kit's going yeah you sure about this and he goes no 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 i know what i'm doing And he goes in, and there's Goliath, the this testing range. And Goliath's coming at him, and Michael and Kit goes, shouldn't we get out of here? Yeah. And let's he goes, it. no, I got a plan. Uh, I'm going to yeah. clip its tire. Would that yeah. have worked with Kit? No. no. Because Kit's tires wouldn't deflate. So why did he think that thing's tires wouldn't deflate? That is true. So Kit gets mashed up. And Michael becomes a raging asshole at this point. So I I have a question. Yeah. Well, how did Kid get mashed up? Like he should have been fine, other than because uh, two uh, molecular bonded shells crashed into each other, and the big, okay. and the bigger one won. Yeah, but yeah. he should have just bounced off. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's it all. Shouldn't have dented. Exactly. Shouldn't have dented. It shouldn't have done anything. It did just dent bounce it. off. Yeah, dented the shit out of it. So, so Kit's on his side. Michael says, "Oh, I gotta, I gotta look at the manual uh, uh, and see if I can fix you up." And really Kit cool. goes to him, basically <laughs> asks him, "Am I going to die?" He says, mm-hmm. "Probably." And, and he goes, "Well, if I can't figure out this manual, there's a good shot of that." It's like, "Fuck you, Michael. Your best friend well, here is, well, hold on, uh, hold is on. He goes, asking if I- he's going to die." Am I going to die? Kit, you're a car. Bonnie will fix you. No, you don't exist. Like, you're not alive. No, my, you're not like fucking, you know, you're not like Johnny Five. <laughs> I think Kit, Kit is sentient. I think. Uh, no. He is sentient. No. Clearly. No, not at all. He knows what death is. He's sentient. No, I don't He's buy it. No, yeah, yes. Oh, is basically my existence going to end and Michael's a jerk. Uh no, Bonnie will fix you and you'll be fine. <laughs> we'll make a new one. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll make it. It's yeah. no skin off my apple. They'll just give me a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dude, you'll be fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll hook you up to some batteries. You know, uh, we'll we'll, te- we'll I'm teach. I'm just saying, Michael. We'll teach you whoever. Nice to Kit. What? Kit, well, how many yeah, times has Kit saved his life? Every single show. <laughs> That's right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, th- that would be like, Kit, not only are we going to make sure, you know, Bonnie fixes you and you'll be fine, but we're going to get a, another detailer who knows how to wax a car because I've never seen so many fucking swirl marks in a black <laughs> car in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just so, like, 
Kit doesn't look great. It was before HDTV, man. <laughs> so, they didn't yeah, know. I was just like, they didn't know. <laughs> there's a lot of scratches and swirl marks on Kit that uh, you can yeah. hide a lot in the 80s. Yeah. Well, the thing is, when he, he they did go several times use the tractor trailer that's bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Mm-hmm. When uh, whenever Kit drives into that thing, you see it drive in. It right. fits. It fits. It just fits. Almost fits. Right. Right. Almost fits when he drives in. Then all of a sudden, it's wide and long. Yeah. And well, like there's an office <laughs> and coffee. Still a really good. That's a really good stunt, though. I, I yeah. Think. Yeah. No, I have nothing against the driving into the truck. They should have made the truck bigger to match the inside of the truck. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or or have um like a not a truck and pull into a garage or something. <laughs> like I don't, I never understood the truck because Michael travels around the truck. The support truck's got to be nearby. Oh, all right. So no matter where he goes, there's a support truck. Minutes. No, away. there's that support truck. That's my point. That's what I'm saying. He never leaves California. <laughs> he went to Vegas. Yeah, when the, well, this one time he goes to Vegas. That's it, that's it though, man. No, but he he was he the support truck was there too. Yeah, because it follows around. It just doesn't get there as fast. So Bonnie just has to sit around in a fucking when uh, she's truck not all the, day. When she's not in the office with Devin with her with her nerd glasses on. Right. They did send a cameraman to Rio de Janeiro. That's right. They did. But it's probably just one person. <laughs> the rest is filmed in California. So uh, Devin goes to see the general at Red Bluff and says, you know, I think someone's going to try to steal these missiles. And uh, the general jerk off is there. What missiles? Yeah. yeah. There's, no, <laughs> there's no missiles in Red Bluff. It's an Indian reservation. <laughs> <laughs> We're perfectly fine. Yeah. And it sounds like the government, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that was believable. <laughs> so, so the the uh, the uh, General Kuna goes to Garth. Hey, why don't you uh, keep your mind on the prize and stop yeah, with this vendetta nonsense? Yeah. And Garth, uh, no one tells me what to do. Yeah. Not my mother. Not my. And I'm going, man, does he have mommy issues? Yeah. Not my mother? My father? <laughs> it's like, Daddy. It's like, my man, like, it's like Manchurian candidate. Yeah. yeah. How, much, how much he's in love with his mom. Yeah, right? <laughs> so for some reason, Garth Knight runs up against Michael while Garth's in the Mer- his Mercedes. And he's trying to run Kit off the road. And he knows perfectly well Kit is right. in pretty indestructible. Right. That car's not going to hurt it. No. But he had to give it a try. Had to give it a try. So, so ego. it turns out in this episode that we find out that neither Garth nor Michael Knight are really Fight. good at hand at fighting. <laughs> <laughs> or, or or playing craps. <laughs> oh, and every time you saw a scene of them together, the dude they used as a stand-in, the back of the head stand-in, didn't even have the same haircut. No, it was awesome. But the fight scene reminded me of fucking Kiss Meets the Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was terrible. <laughs> like that that whole fight scene where the fucking uh the Ace Fraley wasn't Ace Fraley, it was yeah. someone completely different. <laughs> Yeah, I was just like, like Holy a different shit. dude in the Ace Fraley. There was Fraley a different. There was a black guy in Ace Fraley's outfit. <laughs> well, true. You, could hide, you could hide a lot in the eighties, man. I'm telling you, man, it was fight scenes were awful. But that that whole uh, the whole uh, I have a I have a plan, uh, and the uh, I don't know why like craps uh, would piss him off. Oh yeah, they sneezing. had. Uh, he had a plan to piss him off by uh, winning at craps. Yeah. Right. And so he would chase him, basically, right? Yeah. Like, why wouldn't he just go up and, like, smack him and call him a dick? And then yeah. he would still chase him. Or just like, show up and run away. The guy's going to chase you. Right. Just steal his cane and be like, ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> so My cane. Was... My cane. <laughs> I was... 
10 years old when this aired. Wow. And when I was around 22, 23, I had like this fascination of craps. Really? I didn't know, I didn't know where it came from until I watched this today. Oh. <laughs> oh, this was your fa- started your fascination with craps? It must have been. I didn't really know about craps until. Wow. Wow. Especially with Kit, uh, you know, putting, a, putting its uh, dice zapper, which yeah. is another skill that Kit has that makes no sense. No. Nope. But so I would I, from? I would never leave that craps table. Exactly. Seriously, why do you leave? Yeah. Hey, Michael, we have to go stop crime. Dude, no, we're, no. we're killing it. We're killing you could have got, got a sweet. Yeah. Got breakfast. Yeah, got, I, got, I got comp breakfast. Could have got a show. Kid, I got, I got comp dinner at the noodle bar. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, I love noodles. I love noodles. You don't eat noodles. You don't understand. You, you don't understand. The 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 glory, the sumptuousness yeah. of uh, noodles. The, the the soft texture and the saltiness of those noodles. It's quite it's quite it's delicious. Quite exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> Kit, I got comp at the noodle bar. All right. The noodle bar. They don't do that with everybody, kid. <laughs> I want to go to the noodle bar. And Kit's like, uh, Michael, it was all me. I better get some noodles. Yeah, and what's with uh, Kit's corny insults to uh, about Goliath? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was that was. Well, why does Kit say "ow" all the time? What? Like when Michael does does them, he goes "ow," Michael. Like he just he doesn't feel that. I'm sorry, like if, Kit is very sensitive. He's sensitive. It's it, no, I don't buy it. Oh, and my talking about getting him to chase Michael. Crap. All he had to do, like you said, he didn't have to win at craps and do all that stuff. But the last thing he said to him was like a total fucking bro dick move. Yeah. And nice he, hair. No, he said, <laughs> say hi to your mom for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. When I heard that, I was just like. Say hello to your mother for me, all right? I know. I said (laughs) that was a total dick move. That's all he had to do. So, yeah, that was. But I'm just like, when I heard 19 different other, like, movies, (laughs) movie lines from me, I'm like, say hello to your mom for me. (laughs) So I heard Biff. I heard Mark Wahlberg. Pretty good, though. (laughs) So Devin pulls an idiot move and goes to see. Uh, the widow knight, right again, yeah. And uh, oh, I'm here to talk sense into you. I mean, come on, Devin. Yeah, he was. He's not. He's another one who's. So an idiot. he gets captured by Devin. Devin then captures. Well, Michael captures uh, Garth. Garth, right? And then Devin uh, takes him into the truck and puts him into the uh, yeah. office room or whatever. And then they that do the is. old switcheroo. <laughs> Yeah, and then Michael dresses up at Garth's night. Mm. Luckily, they had those hair, they had I those uh, mustache and sideburn thinking, pieces. Yeah, I was thinking, where do you, where do you find that shit? Yeah. <laughs> so quickly. Right. Maybe he went to, uh, they were in Vegas, maybe he went to a costume <laughs> shop. Yeah. Still. And then, and then the, the, uh, the, the, de- the dealer uh, girl believed them in a minute. Like, not even just like, you know, it was had no like what you're Sorry. you're who you're michael now you're garth no no it's me michael H- how do i know you still have, you you look exactly like him and, and you, you could be garth earring. just fucking with you me be, yeah exactly and she bought it she's like oh hi michael <laughs> it's fun <laughs> <laughs> so, so so devin got him up there so does he leave him up there no no i'm gonna go check on him yeah like why? Not even, not even restrained at all. It wasn't even an hour. <laughs> no handcuffs, no nothing. Nope. And of course, uh, Garth is uh, hiding on the side, and he uh, kicks the gun out of Devin's. Devin's not really a good hand-to-hand combat no. guy either. Oh, my, my beautiful eyes! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but Garth can't be all bad because he didn't shoot him dead. He just yeah. left. Well, you know, you know, you he know, locked he, him in there. Yeah, he doesn't have a personal vendetta against. Yeah, it's it's not Devon he has an issue with. It's Michael. <laughs> it's and his mother. Yeah, 
Uh, and he like swung from the ceiling. Yeah. Pretty tight. So uh, Garth goes on his mission. Oh, first Michael Knight is uh, he, he's going to plant an explosive on Goliath. That's so, right. And so he shows and us it. the General Kuna and uh, the Widow Knight there. Right. And he says, give me five minutes. I need to uh, check out Goliath. And he walks like real slow over there. And then he sees uh, a car. He sees uh, the car coming with Garth Knight in it. Why didn't he just run into Goliath and put the bomb in there? Don't know. Because he had to get ready to fight. Well, he got captured immediately. They they were ready to throw some uh, 80s style fisticuffs. That bomb never comes up. It was like Chekhov's gun. It should have been yeah. used. Yeah, it's it never, never used. It never came up. How come when they when they were going to fight, they always have to like dance in a circle first before they <laughs> <laughs> you know this that? Oh, that's an endless question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't answer. So <laughs> I think it started in West Side Story. Yeah. <laughs> so like dancing in a circle, then they start flying. I'm like, all right. So Garth goes on the mission. He puts soldiers in the back of the truck. They uh, they use the missiles to blow up the doors at Red Bluff. Right. They run in there. Uh, Here's the best part. They fight the the army or the Air Force, whoever they were. Right. The army soldiers. And if you rewound that. Sound effects? No, they lay down. A few of the guys just lay down. Like they don't <laughs> act like they got shot. They just lay down on the ground. <laughs> I'm going, Dude, who coordinated the stunts? Because wow. they missed a few things. <laughs> well, the, my favorite is when they stole the missiles. Weren't yeah. they nukes, right? They were I mean, some kind of missiles. Right. Um, not only did they load, uh, whatever missiles were into the back of the truck. Also jam in a couple of the uh, military people back there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It'd be incredibly unsafe. That <laughs> is true. Driving around with some <laughs> loose missiles. Loose, loose missiles. missiles and a bunch of guys in the back. <laughs> a bunch of guys in the back. There's no beer. <laughs> <laughs> Like when they close the door and hit the beep boop 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 thing to, you know, yeah. the code. So he also like, brings the girl to. Yeah. Oh, you're well, not safe in the down. hotel. Not safe in the hotel. You think she's safer out there? No, she said she was coming. I'm coming. I have to finish this. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, he's dead. Like, what do you need to do? Don't worry about it. <laughs> So they steal the missiles, they come out, uh, but Michael uh, Kit scans Goliath and sees the pin, the the, the vital pin. Uh, Bickety-bam, the, bickety the whole truck comes <laughs> apart. <Yeah. laughs> Pull that cross pin and bickety-bam, the whole fucking stage comes down. <laughs> Says that doesn't have molecular bonding. They must have missed that one. Right. And... Right. Uh, Michael, who shouldn't know how to do this stuff, rigs up the laser. <laughs> he read the manual earlier. Well, uh, he yeah. So going back when when Kit was dying, and he yeah. and he pulled out and he pulled out the fucking uh, the book. Yeah, the book. <laughs> the book that no, read was, like stereo instructions. It was called something else. But, uh, yeah. It was like the EMB or some emergency blueprints. Yeah. 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 Why one? Why is that in the car? <laughs> and, and two, shouldn't Kit have it up on the screen on one of those thirteen TVs that he has in the car? Oh, Kit was dying. Kit was still. Dying. He couldn't operate the screens. <sighs> you got to give Kit a break. You know. <laughs> It's a hard life. It's a hard life Kit has kowtowing to the head jerk, Michael Knight. All right. Well, Jim doesn't care if he lives or dies. Well, it's a car. There was a lot of, there was a lot of odds joke too. Yeah. <laughs> like C-3PO. Never tell me the odds. Right. So they use the laser to separate the truck. He seals the, the with the laser. He seals the back of the trailer so that mm -hmm. the... They can't get out. They can't get out. 
Then he shoots some of the missiles up at Garth's uh, thing. And Michael's like telling the kid to wait for a certain amount of time. For what? Yeah. You don't know when he's going to fire the missiles. He's getting ready right. to fire. How do you know? Yeah. And and again, Kit should have been like, you know, uh, oh, great shot, Michael. I've been doing it all along. No, no. Great, great shot. Yeah. How do you know to do that? Well, I can sense when he's firing missiles. You yeah. can't. <laughs> so Kit shoots the missile. The truck blows up. Garth, uh, Garth well, it gets smoky and Garth right. jumps out because he's a pussy. And right. then, uh, Pretty the, smoky. then the uh, truck blows up. Right. Garth is captured. And it ends. And it ends. He hugs the girl who should have no romantic attachment to him the way he treated her. Right. And that was the end. There was no epilogue. No explanation on her. You figure, now I didn't see, you know, a bunch of them, but isn't there like, like, you know, kind of like the A-team? There's always that, you know. You know, job well done, and never, let's have yeah. A there's always and, there's always some sort of conclusion, right? There was none in this. Yeah, I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, just like you know, Murdoch doing something funny. <laughs> yeah, all it did was end in a lame fight. Yeah, it was the lamest. It was. That's what I mean. It, was, it reminded me of fights in Kiss Meets the Phantom. It was terrible. So he might have been a good uh, lifeguard, but he is not good at faking, <laughs> uh, looking good while tr- attempting karate. Yo. <laughs> oh, God. No. I know karate. Careful. Russ knows karate. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime someone says that, that's all I can think about now. <laughs> Careful, boys. Russ knows karate. <laughs> <laughs> The gentleman, yeah, yeah, the gentleman. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> so that was the end of uh, Night Goliath, Ride. Goliath, wow. episodes one and two, season two. Yeah, was it Night episodes Ride. one and two? Yes, it was. It oh, was okay. episode I one. I did. Well, Goliath makes a return. Oh, later, really? later in this season. Does really Garth come back? Yeah. It was called, uh, where is it? Goliath blew the fuck up. Goliath yeah. Returns, episode oh, wow. 40 and 41. Whoa. Wow. Hey, was that something else? That episode of Destroy All Television. Well, you may get some more later, but if you want to listen to some of the older episodes of this podcast, or our other fun podcasts at damshow.co, D A M S H O W dot C O. That's where you'll find the Dam Junior podcasts. Well, until next week, oh, email destroymail at gmail.com. That's our email address, destroymail at gmail.com. Until next time, when the gang will be back together, I bid you adieu. Good night, Dan.